Fox 16 crime alert tonight. A woman in Little Rock is warning to keep an eye on your personal belongings while you're on the river trail. Yeah, her car and others broken into this week while parked near Two Rivers Bridge. That's where we find our Jessica Rank. She joins us live this evening. Certainly not what this woman was expecting to come back to after finishing her run, but this has happened before, especially in that area. Yeah, Kevin, if you want to take a look right below my feet, you can see this big pile of glass, and there are several piles just like this one around the parking lot, which makes us think that this isn't the only break in this week. And for Lindsay Petrick, it isn't the only one for her this month. Clipped in, hooked on, and off she goes. It's my home away from home. Lindsay Petrick rides the river trail almost every day. But this time, she left the car at home. I'm fearful to park down here. Monday, Petrick was finishing up a 10 mile run at Two Rivers Bridge when she noticed glass reflecting off the pavement. A lady down the way had her window smashed and her stuff missing, and I immediately ran down to my car and saw that my window had also been smashed. Her wallet and all the cards inside stolen. My driver's license, I have two debit card accounts, I have five credit cards, cash. But the catch... I thought she was joking. I couldn't believe it would be a third time. Lindsay's car was broken into December 6th, January 2nd, and January 17th, all while she was parked along the trail. Almost feeling like it was personal, like I was being targeted. The first time, Petrick said she paid out of pocket to get the window fixed. It was $700. And each break in, a call to the card companies. I think the bank told my wife that it, they were going to have to start charging her for debit cards. The Petricks have filed a police report. After parking under this camera, they're hoping they can catch the thieves, who they believe were watching the entire time. There was nothing visible. Today, Lindsay was picked up by her husband, leaving behind a message for fellow riders. Take the stuff out of the car. The less stuff you have in the car, the less chance you have of being broken into. Now, we did reach out to the county who runs all of these cameras here in the parking lot to see if they were on and working at the time of the break in, and we have not heard back. Of course, until then, if you're out here running in this cold weather, make sure when you do park to take all of those belongings out of the car with you. Live in Little Rock, I'm Jessica Rank for Fox 16 News.